Hello, my name is Adam Pratt, and today we are going to be demonstrating the installation and setup of the Shurex SSG line of spin spin tooling. The SSG tools come in the 800 series, which is the pistol style, comes in the 900 series, which is the inline version of the tool, and then also the inline version with the right angle nose piece. The SSG Spin Spin line of tooling comes in five different sizes. The SSG 801, 802, 803, 804, and 808. Each tool corresponds to a specific style or size of rivet nuts. So for an 832, an M4, a 632, the smaller sizes, you'll start with the 801. This is a high speed tool at 3000 RPM, so the high RPM equates to a lower setting force. The 808 is a slower tool and by being slower equates to more power. So you use the 808 tool to set half 13s and M12s. Today we will be using an SSG 802. The 802 is setting for setting M5, M6, quarter 20, and 1032 and is a 1500 RPM tool. Our first step is to install the nose piece. The nose piece consists of four pieces. One of the pieces is the bearing set, the bearing set consisting of three pieces. You have two spacers and a needle bearing. Now this is a high wear item, so you want to make sure that the bearing is getting lubricated on a regular basis and it will need to be changed periodically based on the amount of usage that the tool receives and these are available from stock. So we will begin by taking the nose piece, taking the bearing set, placing it into the nose. We will next take a socket head cap screw. Now you want to be sure that you're using high quality socket head cap screws uh, as lower quality socket head cap screws will cause premature failure. Okay. Next we'll take the socket head cap screw, place it into the nose piece. Next we'll take the hex driver, place that into the driver of the socket head cap screw. Some people feel more comfortable placing the hex driver into the tool first. It's really your choice. Okay. Next we will take the tool and put the nose piece into the tool. We will want to pull back until the nose piece snaps into place and then you can release the quick release collar. Okay. Next we want to just pull on the nose piece just to make sure that it's in snug and is retained. Now we will do some rivet nut installations. Since, as I mentioned earlier, the tools are built specific to the thread size, which was meant for the tool, the tools are already geared and there's very little adjustment that you can make to the tool. So we'll take our air pressure and put the line to the tool. And we want to run about uh, 80 to 90 PSI of dynamic pressure. Um, and you can certainly check the catalog as we will specify based on the different thread sizes where some sizes should run at different air pressure. But we'll take first rivet nut, we'll thread it onto the tool. You can see here there's a forward position and a reverse position on the trigger. Uh, if we press on the forward position, installs the rivet nut and you can see now the tool has stalled and it's no longer installing the rivet nut. The tool has reached its torque capacity and you can see the rivet nut is pulled as far as it can be pulled. Okay. Now I will push onto the reverse position of the trigger and you'll see the rivet nut threads off. Now we will do the same exact thing but we'll do it in material thickness. So I'll put it on a quarter turn, take the coupon, place the rivet nut into the material and when I pull the forward position on the trigger the rivet nut will be installed. Okay. Now the rivet nut's installed, press on the reverse, tool exits the rivet nut and you have your installed fastener. One of the benefits with the SSG line of tooling is that because it does use torque to install the rivet nut, it can be installed into you know, various material thicknesses without any adjustment to the tool.